Greetings, Captains. Update 0.7.4 brings changes based on your feedback and requests. There are changes for the matchmaker, interface, and specifications of some ships. We also added new ribbons, achievements, and a great deal more. Let's start with fair play. From now on, those who spoil the game for others will receive warnings first and then a restriction on playing in certain battle types. Just like before, the following actions are considered bad. Damaging allies, being AFK, and leaving a battle prematurely. The offending players can clear their names by fighting in co-op battles. Only after having played a certain number of battles without further infringements will they be able to select other game modes. The matchmaker becomes more symmetrical in update 0.7.4. The teams will have an identical roster by ship types and tiers. If the teams are not assembled after three minutes of waiting, the matchmaker will return to the previous logic to send you into battle as soon as possible. Now it's time to tell you about changes for ship specifications. Japanese Shimakaze becomes less detectable and will be able to spot an enemy first almost all the time. Admiral Hipper receives improved maneuverability and a shorter reload time for its main guns. While Prince Eugen is now equipped with a repair party. Thus, these ships will become more efficient in battle and have more distinctive gameplay. U.S. aircraft carrier Midway loses some of its planes to balance it with its immediate adversary, Hakuryu. All these changes are based on your feedback and our analysis of the game statistics. We continue to improve the interface. Detailed ribbons are now enabled by default, as is the damage counter. The results of bomb attacks are now displayed by ribbons as well. Apart from this, we added counters for potential damage and damage on targets you spotted, which can be enabled in the settings. We bid farewell to Clear Sky and welcome two new honorable achievements. King of the Air, and AA Defense Expert. It's not just the battle interface that's changed. Now the modules and exterior tabs in the port give you the ability to more quickly evaluate the impact of upgrades or camouflages on the economic and combat parameters of a ship. If the parameters improve, they'll be highlighted green. If they worsen, they'll turn red. The same logic applies to commander skills. Apart from this, economic signals can now be purchased in the game client for doubloons. They can even be resupplied automatically. Another new feature that you asked for is the ability to dismiss almost all commanders and sell almost all ships. The only exceptions are Commander Isoroku Yamamoto and ships Missouri, Flint, and Black. Choice is always good. That's why we introduced the ability to select flags of national navies for Pan-Asian and Commonwealth ships. Now your Perth can sport the Australian Navy flag, and Fra Ruan can sail into battle under the Thai Navy flag. In addition, you will see the flags that you chose on the same allied and enemy ships. From the moment training rooms were introduced, you asked us to add active bots to them. We carried out the necessary checks and did some configuration work on the server, and now you can fight against bots in training battles. Honing your skills is as important as ever because the new ranked battles season begins. They remain seven versus seven encounters, but the rules have changed a little. The last irrevocable rank on the road to the top is rank 10 now and not rank 12. Apart from that, you'll use tier eight ships before rank 10 and tier 10 ships after it. Once you get to the Sea Wolves League though, you'll switch to tier seven ships. Earn useful rewards and prove your readiness to fight and win. It's time to finally sum up the results of the second season of Clan Battles. Our congratulations to the winners and all those who managed to win the cherished Stalingrad flag. However, if you only plan to participate in the fight for Clan Supremacy, don't be discouraged. The third season will be here before too long. Just like before, the winning clan's tag will decorate the loading screen of the season's main map. This time, it's Islands of Ice. To celebrate Victory Day, several new features will appear in the game. Firstly, it's the festive port of Kronstadt. Secondly, a unique Soviet commander, Viktor Znamensky, who has improved preventive maintenance, expert marksmen, and high alert skills. 
Thirdly, it's a commemorative patch. Kronstadt will be available to all players from the port selection menu, while the commander and patch will be rewarded for completing the corresponding combat missions. Our cooperation program with video bloggers, streamers, and other prominent people from the World of Warships community gains momentum. We added expandable camouflages, a patch, an emblem, and a commemorative flag especially for them. In addition, their subscribers will be able to win special containers with expandable camouflages or useful economic signals and even premium ships. Follow the channels of your heroes and spot them in battle. As you can see, we prepared plenty of new features and hope that you'll enjoy them. Subscribe to our channel, click the like button, and don't miss new videos. My name is Dasha Barova. I'll be back.